This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 12th of December. I'm James Spann. We'll squeeze out one more dry day before rain returns as the weekend begins. And what about that Christmas weather? Now, let's get in there and take a look. We'll check out uh, the Skycam views. As we look out the window, we'll start with the view coming from Chihaw State Park. Always a nice place to be. Bright sunshine there, but it's cold. In fact, uh, they're sitting only at 39 up on the big mountain at mid-afternoon. Up the road, that's a sky cam at Jacksonville on the campus of Jacksonville State University on top of the Houston Cole Library. The sky there is sunny. That's looking back to the east. And that's a nice shot. That's a setting sun as seen from the sky cam at Selma overlooking the Alabama River and the Edmund Pettus Bridge on a cold December day. Troughing over the east, upper low that is over Southern California. That little feature will push some rain in here as the weekend begins. Pretty cold. Temperatures are in the 40s at mid-afternoon. They range from 41 at Coleman to 53 at Montgomery. Birmingham at 46. Keep in mind, the average high today is 57. So uh, most locations about 10 degrees below average for this time of the year. Around the nation, starting to warm up a little bit out across Texas and the southern plains, but still very cold up north. Chicago this morning had three below zero at O'Hare. Uh, it's very cold for so early in the season, even up there. On the watch warning map, got a few winter weather advisories popping up for parts of Missouri, Illinois, or uh, uh, Indiana and Ohio. Looks like a winter storm watch for parts of Missouri as uh, they'll be on the northern flank of this storm that will affect us with rain. They could see some snow up there uh, as the weekend begins, but it's going to be rain down here. This is the rain for the next five days. This is through Tuesday evening, and of course, all that's going to be with one event late tomorrow night into Saturday morning, and this is suggesting rain amounts of about one inch will be possible here. Take a look at the modeling. This is the 12Z GFS, valid at 12 noon tomorrow. This is at 500 millibars. There's a shortwave trough off to the west moving into Texas. Down below that, some rain breaks out around Tulsa and Springfield, Missouri. But our day will be dry with a mix of sun and clouds. And the high should be in the low to mid-50s, but rain moves in late tomorrow night. And that's Saturday at noon, and we are wet but let's talk about the timing. Let's get down to the mesoscale, the small scale. This is the 4-kilometer NAM valid at midnight tomorrow night, and it's showing the rain just creeping into northwest Alabama. So we think the main window for rain begins at about midnight tomorrow night. This is 6 o'clock Saturday morning, and a soaking rain should be falling at that point for most of you. Um, and again, uh, uh, I think the main window for rain is going to be a bit about midnight to noon because look at 12 noon, the showers are gone. Uh, this run is a little faster. Just showing a band of showers down there uh, below uh, Demopolis and Clanton and Heflin. So if you're planning something outdoors from Birmingham north, the afternoon should be dry on Saturday. Uh, rain may be lingering down to the south Saturday afternoon. So the main window, midnight tomorrow night until noon Saturday for rain, one half to one inch likely. Sunday will be colder. Looks like a pretty good pressure gradient, kind of windy, high in the 40s, a blustery day. Uh, the sky should clear, uh, maybe some wraparound clouds uh, early in the day, but the sky becomes partly to mostly sunny. This is Monday. We start the day way down in the 20s, uh, probably low to mid 20s. It'll be a cold morning. Uh, the high should be in the low 50s, and really next week looks pretty quiet. This is Tuesday. Uh, again, we'll be in the 50s. Wednesday, uh, looks like some colder air tries to nose in here, and this is Thursday, but the core of that stays north of us. So really for next week, it looks very typical for uh, mid-December. Highs in the 50s, lows mostly in the 30s, although Monday morning will be cold with uh, low to mid-20s and uh, no rain. But everybody wants to know about Christmas week, and the consistency in the idea is pretty good here. The uh, GFS is showing a rain event the weekend before Christmas. Uh, this is valid Sunday evening, December 22nd, uh, showing a good batch of rain in here in advance of a cold front. This is Christmas Eve, Wednesday, December 24th at 6 p.m. Ooh, what a marvelous night. Uh, cold high is north of us, and that would suggest it's cool but not harshly cold here. Uh, there's a look at the anomalies for that period. Again, this is 6 o'clock Wednesday evening. Now, it's very cold up north. I mean, uh, you're, you're seeing some spots where they might be over 30 degrees below average. Uh, but down here, the anomalies are, you know, 0 to 10 degrees below average. So I cold, but no, nothing harshly cold if this is right. Then the end of the forecast on the 28th of December. There's the upper pattern, upper high, east of the Bahamas. 
and uh, got a trough moving in the Pacific Northwest. And again, the cold air, the coldest air stays a little north of here and looks like some rain trying to move in here. So, and again, we have seen all kind of different looks and this could easily change. We, we might have a big Arctic blast. We've seen evidence of that from time to time. Maybe we're just on the edge of the cold air like this run, uh, but whatever it looks like, temperatures will be below average for the latter part of December, but how much cold we get, that remains to be seen. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.